Alright, so for the next part of this video, I picked up some acrylic latex caulk plus silicone uh, for doors, windows, molding, uh, siding, trim, whatever. But uh, this is toxic, so you're going to want to let it set for 36 hours. It says it cures after 24, but you're going to want to let it sit for 36 hours. Let it dry out. Leave your uh, terrarium outside in ventilated area and it, like I said, after 36 hours it's non-toxic. It's safe because it's dried, it's cured, and it won't be giving off any fumes. The fumes mostly come from the chemical reaction in the caulk and that's that's why it's most mostly toxic. So I got two just in case I ran out of one. I didn't want to what you're going to do is all these big gaps, you're going to just fill that in. And I picked I pick the black caulk. Rob C also goes with the black caulk. Uh, this backdrop is a little bit darker, so I didn't actually want to go with the brown. But we'll be doing brown accents because I am going to add Echo Earth to it so it doesn't have that black shiny look. But... go and you're gonna want to just follow all the cracks uh, hate having the wrong thing it's kind of bad okay and you're gonna want to use latex gloves of some kind. Um, just so you can smear it around in there once you get it. And what this does, it prevents the animal or whatever you're housing in the terrarium. It keeps it from going behind here because, oh crap, I hope I got enough. Because what will happen is, They'll, uh, you don't want them getting stuck back there, and you just, you want to be able to see your, your animal. All right, so let's get my other one. All right, cut that one a little smaller. That sucks. Whatever. This stuff is super cheap too, so don't even worry about buying extra. That was just being stupid. <sighs> don't forget to puncture the can. Alright. Fill in the biggest areas first. Well, that was the sound of me running out. 
I thought two would be more than enough, I didn't realize. That's another reason why it's really important to fill in as much of the gaps as possible and then you don't have to use as much material. So anyway, I'm going to have to go to the hardware store and get more. But I'll show you what we're going to do on this anyway. While this is wet, take off my latex. Echo Earth dry. Sprinkle it all around. Should have left one of my gloves on. Pretty good. Yeah, so you go ahead and spread it all around. I'm going to get another glove and come back in here and pat it in just a little bit. And that's what it's starting to look like. I got to fill in this area over here and a little bit along the top. I'm not real worried along the top. I'm just going to make sure that he can't get in through there. But that's pretty much it. Later on in the next part, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue and some java moss and some of these really small cracks. And uh, it should look really cool when it's all done. But I hope you guys are enjoying so far and keep watching. And I will do a lot more of these videos for sure because I'm going to be doing some 3D rock wall backdrops for my tarantula cages as they get larger. and. Uh, I'll also be getting some more tarantulas later on, soon hopefully. But it's coming together pretty good and I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.